All right, this is TJ from Fat Boys Garden with a full garden update. My spring garden is pretty much gone and now what we have is my summer garden. And down on this end, we have some okra that I planted, uh, Clemson spineless. I'm trying my hand at corn again. This is called um, buttercream corn. It's the yellow and the gold mix. And then here is uh, eggplant. I got about three different kinds of eggplant in there. And then my carrots are still coming along. And I'm hoping that I can resurrect my basil and my sage because it was starting to die off. And there's some leftover green peppers that I had. I went ahead and planted those. And in here, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm probably going to put some more beans in there. And then over here, we've got some radish. I've intentionally not thinned those out because I don't care for radishes, but I had the packets and figured I'd just throw them in the bucket. And I think this... Uh, triple curl kale or Russian kale I can't remember which one it was I think it's just about done so we're gonna see if it's gonna come back back here we have some collard greens that we grew and then over here is another green pepper plant that I had laying around figured I'd go ahead and get that one planted and these are all my different peppers that I have my hot peppers and my sweet peppers and I was out here yesterday and came across that. Didn't even know it was on there. So I was kind of surprised to see that. I'm not 100% sure some of these are sweet peppers, some of them are hot peppers. So we're going to see what comes. Over here is what's called a Cubanelle pepper. Nope, I'm sorry, Carmen sweet pepper. And that thing is kind of big. It's only one. It's only one. And then over here we have some jalapenos. Yeah, Wait a minute, these look like jalapenos. Oh, this is the uh, Cubanelle, the uh, Carmen pepper. Look at there. I thought those were jalapenos. Wow, time. yes sir, thank you. Back here, back here we have some um, wax peppers that are growing. I'm getting ready to harvest those. I just harvested a bunch of jalapenos about two weeks ago. So I got some more jalapenos ready to be harvested. And TJ number two bought me a Father's Day gift. He bought me some tomato cages. Isn't that special? So I got me some tomato cages now. So we'll be getting those in, the, in a bucket real soon. And let's take a walk over here. This used to be my gold rush beans. I pulled those up yesterday. And this squash was hitting the ground. I don't know what's gonna become of this squash. There's no flowers on it, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fruit or not. Got some squash and some zucchini. And there's no flowers to be seen on them. So I don't think those are gonna produce much of anything. But we're gonna leave them there for now and see what happens. And let's take a walk up this hill. Let's see here. I haven't done much up here on the hill in the form of summer plants. I've got um, some okra that I planted a couple of weeks ago. It's doing very well. And I have just been getting squash after squash after squash up here. So I think this squash is probably just about done. I planted that squash Oh boy, back in March, right after the cold snap. So I think I've gotten about all the squash I'm going to get. Over here we have some cucumbers. I'm trying something different. This is actually a vining cucumber. So I'm trying something different with putting a cage around it and see what's going to come of it. And there's my okra. I'm going to have to thin that out because there's no way three of them are going to live in that bucket together. And uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, here's my cantaloupe and my watermelon. Those are really starting to spread a little bit. 
So we're going to see what's going to come of that. And back over there. I don't remember what I put over there. It may, I don't know what I put over there. But whatever it is, it's growing in those two buckets. It was more of an experiment than anything else. Simply because there's no sunlight over here. And I don't remember what that is, but it's growing. And don't remember what that is, but it's growing. And here's my other little thing I'm experimenting with. Trying to make a compost pile out of this. If I flip that up, it's got all kinds of rose petals, stems, and everything else underneath there just decomposing. So we're going to see what's going to come of that. And this, I believe, it's either broccoli or it's... I think it's bro no I don't think it's broccoli I don't remember what this is um, oh it is broccoli but it's pretty pitiful looking broccoli wouldn't you say so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do up here because I don't get that much sunlight on some of this stuff and this is the one that I've got the thin diesel collard greens and I really need to go ahead and thin those out and uh, see what I can do with that stuff and these just refused to die. This was some squash and some okra that I planted from seed and it just refuses to die. I was gonna dump it out but then it wouldn't die off so I left it in the pot and now look, it's starting to grow. So I'm looking for some really big things up here. I'm gonna see how those uh, cucumbers are gonna do in, in, in those cages. And uh, these watermelons, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that because eventually what's going to happen is is uh, when I turn my wire back on, that wire is going to be shortened out from the greenery that's hitting it. Well, that's an update of my garden this Father's Day 2016. This is TJ from Fat Boy's Garden. Thank you for watching.